What about the P&L statement? I'll give you the P&L statement. We are looking good. Made for the regular, everyday folks. Ah, oh, it's always worth that trip to Duncan. Well, the Dunkin' Donut is a wild UFO incident that happened over 50 years ago in front of a group of witnesses. And it could be one of the only instances that might tie to a modern UAP case involving injuries and civilian air travel. And a timely signs. warning for anyone who gets on Either a plane. Case, unidentified objects are concerned for flight safety. The American people deserve to know what is happening in our skies. Duncan is a community in the Cowichan Valley on Vancouver Island, one of the premier jewels of the great outdoors here in North America. And so it's no wonder that UFOs love to visit all the time, and they have been for well over a century. Now this region of coastal Canada is a known UFO hotspot. And during the holiday season of 1969 to 1970, the Cowichan Valley welcomed a slew of strange visitors in the sky, none of which looked like Santa Claus especially considering its links to one of Canada's only known UFO cases involving injuries in the modern era and a donut UFO. Now, days before the terrifying sighting of tall, thin occupants dressed in black piloting a UFO hovering outside the main hospital in Duncan was to occur, a group of teachers, school workers and students all witnessed together one of the most unique looking UAPs that is rarely reported, a donut shaped hoop. It all began in December of 1969 when staff and students at Duncan's Alexander Elementary School were witnesses say they spotted the strange donut-shaped object through a window and everybody rushed outside to take a look. A teacher, some school aides, uh, students, even the school secretary, they all gathered together to take a look. Now they say the giant hula hoop shaped object seemed to be moving up and down which made it look like it was getting bigger and smaller and it made no sound while it moved below the cloud ceiling. They described it as looking solid in shape, almost like a thick rolled up tube of plastic. Now because the day was overcast, Mrs. Edith Bailing, the teacher, said it looked like 15 large planes could have easily fit inside the hole in the middle of this UAP, unless it was solid and just happened to be colored the same shade as the clouds above it, giving it the appearance of a hole. If this was in fact a donut-shaped UAP, it does sound remarkably similar to another, far more dangerous encounter with a ring-shaped flying object. The majority of witnesses are commercial pilots at majority major airlines. Often, they are veterans with decades of flying experience. Pilots are reporting UAP at altitudes that appear above them at 40,000 feet, potentially in low Earth orbit or in the gray zone below the Kármán line. That very real danger to civilian planes is exactly what happened to flights back in 2016, working the corridor from Montreal to Toronto. Now, on the morning of May 30th, a regional Air Canada flight reported that a round-shaped object moving about 300 miles an hour crossed in front of their flight path. But then a few months later, on November 14th, the first known injuries caused by a near miss with a UAP in Canada gets reported. A regional Porter Airlines flight near Toronto was forced to take drastic sudden evasive maneuvers to avoid a fatal mid-air collision with a UFO shaped like, quote, an upright donut or an inner tube, just like the one that was seen in Duncan almost 50 years earlier. Now the crew in that Porter Airlines flight had to override the autopilot controls and then plunge the craft hard nose down, causing injuries to a pair of cabin crew who were slammed into the fuselage. Now Canada's Transportation Safety Board said at the time, the description and size of the object does not match any known commercial or consumer available unmanned aerial vehicle. Fair enough. But, a more detailed look into the incident report actually shows what the pilots had reported and that quote, appeared to be solid and shaped like an upright donut or inner tube. An investigation never determined what the object was, but it does highlight growing calls for better reporting, understanding and protections against strange objects in the sky that could one day lead to a fatal collision involving civilians and UAPs. When I spoke to Lieutenant Ryan Graves last year, he echoed the sentiments he delivered to Congress. 
The issue involving UAPs and civilian air travel was a serious one, and it needed to have proper attention if the safety for all passengers was to be taken seriously. I have experienced advanced UAP firsthand, and I'm here to voice the concerns of more than 30 commercial air crew and military veterans who have confided their similar encounters with me. Today, I would like to highlight three critical issues that demand our action. As we convene here, UAP are in our airspace, but they are grossly underreported. These sightings are not rare or isolated, they are routine. I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. There's great new material coming all the time. And share your thoughts. Leave your comments below. What do you think about the donut UFOs? Have you seen anything similar? Stay tuned. There's another great video coming up next.